welcome back to Let's Play Malachi the Jerk. Um, here again with Coco Monkey slash Tim Mara. Hello, all you beautiful people. And um, we're gonna go for a walk up the excessively long beach and see what we can find. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> this is a good start. <laughs> we might have to restart this one, yeah. Oh, hang on, no, there we go. Yep, it just lagged for a second. Already. Yep, that's we're all good now. Okay, so... Uh, what was the last quest that I got? If I can't remember. I think <laughs> we you told me. To yeah, you told me. Fetch the, quest. the big fetch quest, that's it, yeah. So, um, I, I play so many different team mods with people that when I get back around to one, it's like, you know, where am I up to again? Yeah, you should be heading back toward the dungeon of pointlessness. Oh, okay, yeah. Just thought I'd Not beat that, that wasn't a fun little diversion. Thought I'd just beat the shit out of some wasps and. Because who doesn't like to beat the shit out of some wasps? Exactly. So the game didn't even want me to go that way. The game knew where I should go. That's why it lagged so much when I went to go to the it's beach. like, no, you idiot. <laughs> exactly. What are you doing? Okay, so let's heal. There we go. Oh. That helps a lot. But there we go, get through there. And we're going for a stroll back the way we came. Yay. Sorry, feel bug. Yeah, I had some people complain about this fetch quest. I said, um, it's long, it's tedious, fetch quests aren't fun. Um, uh -huh. I just want to say to those people, do you think that I don't realize those things? Because <laughs> they're true. <laughs> yeah. Um... I wasn't trying to make it fun here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think video games can be things other than fun, and yeah. it can be valid. Yeah, I think there has to be some, you know, sort of, the, some sort of um, chore feeling task to do. You know. Well, for this day mod, because it's supposed to be about think getting frustrated, I felt like I should frustrate the player some too. Yeah. Yeah. They're back. Kill them all. Or at least a couple of them. I was inspired by uh, Super Paper Mario, which is one of my favorite games. Uh, that game really puts you through the ringer. It's like, look at what we can make you do, player. Yep. Well, that's a phone ringing in the background. We'll just ignore that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, where? Wait, what, what, what was that fetching? Oh, here we go. Yes, Mr. Suddenly Talkative Idiot. I'm looking for <laughs> something called a crap blossom. Well, lucky you, I happen to have one of those. The question is, what are you going to give me for it? Um, what do you want? I'm just about sick to death of sleeping on this stone floor. What I'd like is a mattress. Maybe you can buy one topside. Fair enough, I'll be back. Okay. I'm going buy a... A mattress. Yeah, like I was saying, the way Super Paper Mario had the balls to just put you in a Skinner box and tell you they were doing it just really inspired me. Oh, this guy again. Maybe I do. Listen, Don, I'm going to be straight with you. I think your duck religion is really silly. I appreciate your honesty. I assure you, I've been called much worse. But even so, you're clearly sincere and I appreciate that. It's not a quality I've seen much lately. If you need a friendly ear, I'll offer you mine. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, okay, Con continue on. Uh, I think that's twice I've interrupted you now. <laughs> so... uh, it's fine. Um, you should head back to disappointment. Yeah. That was actually more of the same conversation with Donald that uh, you were having at the beginning. 
you can just keep on talking to him. I wrote such a long script. I think I think there are over 20 different things that he says. Uh, there's 20 different parts of the conversation. Right. I just wanted to see uh, That's if players would just keep on talking to him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I probably would if I wasn't doing a... Um, if I wasn't recording. I'd sit there and talk and right. see what he says. That one, uh, yeah, make the video too long. It would have it would have made for kind of a boring part, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, mattress. Okay. How much is the mattress? Too much. I look like the kind of adventurer that walks into a suicidal situation blindly, apparently. <laughs> it's practically all I do. <laughs> Maybe we can work out a deal then. They say that in the dangerous mudlands north of here, there's a talking bonker. Uh, ever since I heard about it, I've wanted to meet such a creature. I mean, can you imagine? Uh, bring the bonker here and I'll give you a mattress. Um, you see, the thing about that is, it's dead. What? What kind of thoughtless British idiot would do such a thing? Well... Really rubbing it in here. I mean, he'd have to be the world's biggest moron, that's for sure. Whatever he thinks he got out of doing such an awful thing, it can't have been worth it. This is terrible. Well, you might not be able to meet the bonker anymore, but I know somebody who knew her very well. Maybe I could get him to talk to you. Yeah, I guess so. That's the best I'm gonna do now. You go get him. I'll be right back. Die! Leg it! Yeah, that was just to make the player feel a little worse about killing Burlgar. Yep. I'll just save it. Good idea. My day mod seems to hate you for some reason. <laughs> go straight to the end. Such a good option. Oh, this again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Colin, I need a favor. Uh, so there's this guy in town who wanted to meet Gradlegar. If you would talk to him, it would mean a lot to him. And then he'd give you something, that's it. Well, yes. You've got a nerve, boy. Look, you old bastard. I didn't want to kill Gradlegar, alright? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I really am. I went over there and I couldn't leave. Gardagar said it's because this is all predetermined or something. I don't know. Everything is whipping me around lately and I don't understand. It ain't none of it your fault. Must be nice. I never said that. How come everybody thinks I'm stupid? Yeah, I've made some big mistakes, but I can't stop now. I didn't know Gardagar for long, but I know she wished the best for me. I know, I know you don't want to see me anymore and I can't blame you. Just please help me out and I'll leave you alone. So you do have a spine. Maybe I'm just a bitter old man. Guess it is what she'd have wanted. Alright. But you do me a favour first. There's a girl in town. She's my granddaughter. Whoa. Why don't you visit her? Can't, can't face her after the way I ran out on her. Nan and her ma. Damn dude. You just get me something of hers to remind me something special. Are you steal it or nothing? Give me your heart! <laughs> Alright, let's go out again. Alright. That's, uh... It's awesome. Ah, uh, there's that sound again. Yeah, the, the phone ringing. I, I guess everyone just knew when I was recording. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look around in town. That's Marty's. Yeah, he's awesome. Yup. Good luck next time. We'll be seeing Marty again shortly. Yup. You're gonna wanna head right. Uh, yeah. South, south and east. I can't get through there, that's right. That's the general store. Yeah. 
Here we go. May as always. Oh wait, no, no not here. No, I Dang it. I, I can't remember where things are because <laughs> Leprechaun moved things around. Okay, no, back. I'm sorry. See, I don't know where things are in my own day mod. <laughs> I'll just I'll just look around until I find a up here. That's a shady stranger. It's gone. Or Malachi. So that's uh that's Marty's, I just went there. Here. What's in here? Hey, what's up? Uh, here we go. Hey, do you think I could have one of your little figures? They're pretty cool. Really? Well, there are a few I might let go. Why don't you just go look at the shelf until you find one you like? Well, I'll let you get on with whatever it is you're doing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have to look at the other shelf. Poor Milder. He was a total doofus, but he didn't deserve to die. Yeah, just keep looking at that same shelf and you'll go through the figures on it. Yeah. If the king's responsible for this set, I say he isn't modest. All the major characters of the tale are represented. Uh, yes. <laughs> Why well, is there a duck here? That's Quack as a duck, of course. It's a fan favourite. Right, the legend is unclear on this point, so I really wanted to ask you. Some say you saved Quackers, others say he smart talked at you and you punished him with a vengeful hand. What really happened? Some things are better left a mystery. Indeed they are. I even went to the trouble to put it in your inventory. I'm usually too lazy for that. Actually, what I'll do, I'll save it here and end the part, and then we'll continue. Good deal. Yeah. Alright, so we'll see you in the next part.